New from overnight, a big update on the largest public-private partnership in Virginia Beach City history. 10 on Your Side has learned the developer looking to redevelop the former dome site into a wave park, among other things, closed on their equity. Thank you for joining us on Fox 43. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Bianca Holman. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's one of the main reasons the project is still alive. So 10 on Your Side's Brett Hall joins us live now to explain what all of this means. Yeah, I've been covering this since I got here. And technically, right now, the developers behind this project, they've defaulted, really, mm -hmm. because they haven't met certain deadlines by the end of the year. But we talked about that equity. And again, apologize for all the financial terms this early in the morning. But that really means the money from key investors is in, something that didn't happen when Virginia Beach partnered with an arena developer several years back. The mayor says it's why the city is not going to exercise its option to end the agreement. The mayor actually says groundbreaking is imminent on the roughly $350 million public-private project that partners Venture Realty and Pharrell Williams in the city. These renderings show plans to build a wave park anchored entertainment district at the former home of the Virginia Beach Dome at the oceanfront between 18th and 20th streets down there. Just yesterday, our cameras captured trailers from WM Jordan Construction now on site. The initial agreement, lighting, green lighting, all of this was actually struck back in 2018. Mayor Bobby Dyer says he's as frustrated as anyone on the delays. The landscape for the financing and then also with some of the complications uh, we had with utility companies and everything, there were a lot of hurdles we had to uh, uh, overcome. But I am confident that once this project is complete, uh, you know, the public is going to embrace this big time. Now, the city is pitching in upwards of $115 million for all of this. They hope the entertainment venue, 3,500 inside as well as some more outside, opens in time for the 2024 concert season. And since not one ground of dirt has been mm. turned over, nothing. <laughs> it's uh, that's a daunting task. But we're looking right now, waiting for a casino to open that sprung up out of nowhere. So these construction companies, they can do it. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a big change down there. It's amazing how fast they can move. Yeah. To see it happen in, by 2024 would be quite yeah. impressive. We'll be following it. Exactly. We'll see. <laughs> we'll know you'll be on top of it, Brett. Thank you.